Hi, my name is Brad Meyer from Orlando, Florida. Uh, and this is my um, MD-500 tow missile helicopter. It's uh, got T-Rex 600 mechanics, um, all stock, stock motor, speed control, and um, everything else with it. Uh, it flies on a six cell 4900 Evo battery. This particular helicopter, the fuselage is sold by Century Helicopters. Uh, it comes in, this one came in primer gray. And I decided to model it after the Israeli Air Force's uh, Defender 500, which is an anti-tank helicopter they use in the 70s and 80s. I decided to put a lot of details into this helicopter. Uh, I started by adding rivets. All the rivets on the helicopter are cut from vinyl. They're half millimeter diameter. The paint is uh, latex house paint. I have the custom, the color custom mix at Home Depot. After I finished the outside, it came out so good, I decided to go ahead and build a cockpit for it. The pilots are 12 inch, what would be normally like a GI Joe figure. Uh, the helmets are hand built, uh, replicating a, a real helicopter pilot's uh, helmet. I also have an instrument panel that was scratch built from styrofoam and black vinyl. Um, and I got, I got pretty good, good with the details. I even have one of the pilots is holding an actual map of Israel. Um, I, I fly this particular helicopter in what they would call a scale manner. I try to replicate the moves of the full-size helicopter. Uh, the full-size helicopter uh, in real life would spend a lot of time uh, in low altitude hovers uh, trying to acquire targets. Uh, the real helicopter is actually has a sight up here that the uh, co-pilot looks through a sight and would select the target through the designator and launch the uh, missiles at the target, usually for an anti-tank or uh, anti-transport type uh, scenario. Um, I like to do a lot of slow hovering maneuvers. Um, I also make some high-speed passes and things like that with the helicopter. Uh, the trick to flying scale is trying to be very smooth with the helicopter. Um, you know, after watching a lot of full-size helicopters, you try to mimic the way they move. Uh, you try to avoid sudden movements or shaking of the helicopter, which is sometimes hard to do, especially in windy conditions. It takes a lot of practice.